Hello, I am Matthew Wright, postdoctoral fellow at the Institute for Mathematics and its Applications at the University of Minnesota. In this video, I will give a brief introduction to Hadwiger integrals and answer the question, what is the size of a function? Let's start with a simpler question. What is the size of a box? Let's say that the side lengths of the box are x, y, and z. There are many ways to answer this question. You might say that the size of the box is its volume x times y times z units cubed. Or you might say that the size of the box is its surface area, for example, if you wanted to paint the box. Alternately, you might say that the size is the sum of the side lengths. Or perhaps size is quantity. This is one box. All these are possible notions of size. Evaluation is a notion of size. Let S be a collection of subsets of d-dimensional Euclidean space. Evaluation on S is a function from S to the reals that assigns zero to the empty set and satisfies this property. The valuation of set A plus the valuation of set B equals the valuation of the union of sets A and B plus the valuation of the intersection of A and B. This is called the additive property, or in combinatorics, the inclusion-exclusion principle. This property implies that if you know the valuation of sets A, B, and their intersection, then you also know the valuation of the union of A and B. We say that evaluation is Euclidean invariant if it is unchanged by rigid motions of sets. That is, if I translate or rotate set A, the valuation V of A doesn't change. Also, valuation V is continuous if a small change in A results in a small change in V of A. That is, if I take set A and perturb it a little bit to get set B, then V of A is close to V of B. Continuity is usually stated more precisely with respect to the Hausdorff metric, but I don't have time to go into that here. What are some examples of valuations? You already know some familiar ones. Volume, for instance, is a valuation. So is surface area, and so is Euler characteristic. An important family of valuations, called the intrinsic volumes, are usually defined on compact convex sets. For compact convex n-dimensional sets, there are n plus 1 intrinsic volumes, denoted mu0 through mu n. In particular, mu0 is the Euler characteristic, mu1 gives a notion of length, often called mean width, mu n minus 1 is half the surface area, and mu n is the volume of the set. The other intrinsic volumes are more difficult to convey, but suffice it to say that mu k provides a notion of the k-dimensional size of n-dimensional sets. Hugo Hodwiger proved that any Euclidean invariant continuous valuation on compact convex sets is a linear combination of the intrinsic volumes. That is, the space of all valuations on n-dimensional tame sets is actually a vector space, and the intrinsic volumes are a basis for this vector space. That's the classic Hodwiger theorem. Informally, Hodwiger's theorem says that if you understand the intrinsic volumes, then you understand all notions of size for sets. Now let's change our perspective from sets to functions. What is the size of a function? Let's say that evaluation on functions is a notion of size for functions. What is additivity in this case? If v is evaluation on functions, then additivity means that v of f plus v of g equals v of the pointwise maximum of f and g plus v of the pointwise minimum of f and g. Evaluation on functions may be Euclidean invariant, meaning that v of f is unchanged by rigid motions of the domain of f. Evaluation on functions may also be continuous, meaning that a small change in f results in a small change of v of f. Of course, to be precise about what is a small change in f, we ought to talk about some topology and functions, but we don't have time for that here. Can you think of any valuations on functions? For integrable functions, the riemann lebesgue integral is a valuation. That is, the integral is a map from integrable functions to the real numbers that is additive, Euclidean invariant, and continuous. Are there any other valuations on functions? It turns out that each of the intrinsic volumes has a functional analog. Recall that the intrinsic volumes are valuations on sets, and that mu k gives the k-dimensional size of a set, like this set A in Rn. Now suppose we change our perspective from sets to functions over sets. Let f be a real-valued function defined on A. Are there intrinsic volumes of functions? In other words, what is the k-dimensional size of f? For any s, in the range of f, we can consider the set on which f is at least s, and we can compute the intrinsic volume mu k of this set. 
we can then integrate these values over the range of f. This gives a notion of the k-dimensional size of f, which we call a Hadwiger integral with respect to mu k. We are sort of using the intrinsic volume mu k as a measure for integration on f. Note that in general, the Hadwiger integrals of f are not the same things as the intrinsic volumes of the subgraph of f. We also obtain a Hadwiger theorem for functions. Recall that the classic Hadwiger theorem says that any Euclidean invariant continuous valuation on compact convex sets is a linear combination of the intrinsic volumes. Hadwiger's theorem for functions says that any Euclidean invariant continuous valuation on functions is a linear combination of the Hadwiger integrals. The details are a bit technical, but if you're interested, you can find them in my paper. See the link below. The Hadwiger integrals have various potential applications in areas such as sensor networks, image processing, cell dynamics, and more. There are also many open questions involving approximation and convergence of Hadwiger integrals. For more information, and for more precise statements of everything in this video, see my paper. You can find the link below. Thank you for watching this video. I am Matthew Wright at the Institute for Mathematics and its Applications.